Hey guys, welcome. This week's collab is being hosted by Patty from Patty's Polish Corner. Yay, I got it right the first time. Um, so these are all the artists that decided to participate. Don't forget to check them out. I will have their links down in the information box as soon as I get it. So make sure you leave them some love. And definitely stick around for my creation, which is the last picture here, if you want to see how I went about doing it. So I am going in with Moyolanda's Literature Plate in number six. And this one has some, well, it has a lot of writing on it. So I'll leave it there and you guys can pause the video if you want to take a closer look or if you just want a better view at it. So as you can tell, I started my Manny and I don't think I've ever, no, I've never done um, like a letter type Manny. So I thought that would be perfect for, you know, a Halloween Manny. So I'm still in love and enjoying Tonics Polish and Black Friday, which is what I have on. And as you see some close-ups, it's definitely time for me to change it. So I think that the chips and wear and tear actually give it a nice rustic feel to the Manny. But here I'm summing in on the image. And I'm going to use that one right there. And this is um, what I came up with. And I added some spider webs and some spiders and I used sugar bubbles. I'm also really enjoying my sugar bubble plates. So to get that gradient, I didn't paint over this um, swatch stick. I just used a black swatch stick. So just get um, a semi-wet sponge, tear it off to the size of your nail or however big you want the little designed to be and uh, get some white polish and there you just dab 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 and ideally you want to wait some time and go in again and dab it to make the center more opaque but you guys know me I'm not the most patient person so I just went ahead and dabbed it so I'm kind of glad it worked and it didn't you know, delete what I had originally started off with. I can't think of another word better than delete right now. So, yep, that's what you get. And then you want to top it off, top it off with sesh feet. And you want to have a pretty good amount on your brush. So you don't mess up your design. And of course, you want to wait about five minutes before you go ahead and uh, do any other work. I definitely went in with Yellow Stopper to make it sticky. Before you dunk it in, um, just make sure you keep an eye on your brush and you don't have any transfer back into the bottle. So I'm going in with a uh, Queen Black. Or just any black opaque polish will do. Scraping it, and I always have trouble with the corner images when I have the camera in front of me. Now, didn't that pick up it beautifully, you guys? How pretty is that? I like the font. Now, when I was going in with my nails just to make sure that the letter was correct, I, I just concentrated on the first letter, which was welcome. So as soon as I had the welcome on the upper left-hand side, as you can see right there, I knew I had the image exactly where I wanted it because you could also, you know, do it upside down, which would be facing you, but I wanted it to face out. I always like my designs to face out. How about you guys? I just figured, oh, I'm knowing what I'm putting on my nails, so you guys are the ones that actually want to see it. So there it is. Nice and simple, but doesn't it look so cool? So as you guys know, I just, I can't put a plate away without cleaning it. 
I really don't like that claw grabber. What is it called? Cotton claw. I like my old one that I had that got lost. So I went in with that little spider web. And I'm going in with um, Queen and White. And I'm always misplacing my little scraper. So if you guys don't see me before you go Halloweening or trick-or-treating or whatever you want to call it, have a wonderful, safe time. Take a little bit of tape, and I got rid of that extra little spider web. I mean, you could leave it there, but I thought it looked cuter without it. So I took the actual spider web and did it on the corner. I think that gave it a nice finish look to it and then take the spider put it on the cuticle area and of course with the yellow stopper only the part that I wanted stuck so which was good So at this point, again, go in with Sesh Vite or your favorite quick dry top coat. Make sure this time, since there's so much stamping on the um, nail, that you have a good amount of product on your brush and that you're just floating it so you don't smear your hard work. But then again, this design, I mean, it's so rustic and I guess the more you mess up actually does make it look better in this particular case. But still, you don't want to smear the spider web or the cute little spider. And I meant to do um, some hollow on my nails, but I didn't. But I did do it on the nail swatch stick. So while that's drying, I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup. Putting everything back. That's just to buy me time for the nail swatch stick to dry some. Doesn't that look so cute? And that's where I go with my Northern Lights to give it a little bit of hollow. I didn't do it on my nails like I already mentioned. I meant to. But. And this bottle always gets stuck. It doesn't matter how good I am about cleaning it. It just gets stuck. So last time I stamped and I did the Northern Lights on top and it just ruined the stamping. So this time I made sure that I did it over the quick dry top coat. And doesn't that look so cool? Like a little magic going on with the Northern Lights. And then for the finished design, or the finished look, I took some Wet n Wild and I got a big drop on the spider. And then I went with my um, wax pen and tried to pick up one of those red glass stones for the spider. Now when I did that, some of the black wax got on the stone 
that's okay if it happens to you guys. Just wait for everything to dry and then you can go over it with a little bit of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol and a little wipe and just wipe off the wax so it's no big deal. Just don't do it right away. Make sure it's all nice and dry. So that's why that doesn't look red like it does on the actual Manny. But you can definitely see that it's a glass stone. And that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And have a wonderful Halloween if you celebrate it. If not, still have fun. Just be safe. And don't forget to check out the ladies that participated in the collab. And show them some love. And there I go with the finished look. You can definitely see the red stone on the ring finger cuticle area. And on the thumb. I'll see you on my next video, guys. Bye.